So let's start. Uh, Armada, uh, Captain, introduce yourself and your team members and advise your team. I'm Victoria Captain, this is Grace, Cade, and Gwen, Cade, and Epicheski, and Sarah. Okay. Likewise. I'm Logan, Captain. This is Ethan, Maddie, and Maddie. And our coach, Mr. George. Welcome. Let's try the buzzers. Starting with Maddie. <coughs> given instructions here, uh, but I think we've already pretty much covered them. We just ask that those of you who are playing along back there, uh, kind of keep your answers to yourself and let the folks up in front uh, focus on their job. If you've got a cell phone, uh, I would advise that perhaps you turn it off. All right, questions before we uh, begin? Captain, are you ready? Captain, ready? All right, we'll start with a toss-up question and match inequality. If minus 40x is less than or equal to 10, then x is less than or equal to what? Negative 4. Uh, sorry? Negative yes. 1, 4. That is correct. The move on is on forms of government. These features are, are typical of what form of government? One political party, complete national effort directed towards the goals of the party, Control over every aspect of citizens' lives. Dictatorship? No, totalitarianism. Toss up in crack. The crack of a bullwhip occurs as a result of a shock wave called a what? That's correct. And your bonus in army generals. Because of his sly maneuvers as head of the Africa Corps, in North Africa, Erwin Rommel was given what nickname? The Desert Fox. That is correct. Okay. Uh, toss up in math, dice. When you throw two dice, what is the probability that a six will come up on exactly one of them? Yes, one twelve. No. One six. Uh, no, 5 and 18th or 5 18th. Toss up in a map, algebraic averages. If the average of R, S, and T equals Q, what is T? Yes. Uh, T is one third Q. Uh, no. Yes. 3Q minus R minus S. Say again, please. 3Q minus R minus S. That is correct. And your bonus in capitalist literature? What essay written by Andrew Carnegie in 1889 describes the philanthropic responsibilities of the rich? Who's the steel guy? I don't know. The only stuff that I know is a mob's proposal. This is not about these babies. I should just be steel's good by it. Answer, please, Captain. No answer. It's called the Gospel of Wealth. Toss up in walled cities. The Hall of Supreme Harmony and the Chinese Emperor's Throne are in what walled city? With the Forbidden City. That is correct. And your bonus in modals. What modal auxiliary verb has the same meaning as the modal phrase is going to? Gone. Will. I'm going to. I will. I like gone. I don't know. Will. Just like gone. Answer, please, Captain. Will. That is correct. Ties up in the Old West law. Judge Roy Bean operated out, out of what saloon? That would be the Jersey Lily Saloon. Toss up in bad doggy. Who said this at her trial in relation to her deceased husband? I was Chairman Mao's dog. If he said bite someone, I bit him. I was Jing Zheng. Toss up in currency analogies. Name the unit of currency in India. Ruby. Correct. And your bonus in math, circles. Determine the length of the line of two centers of two circles with diameters of 28 and 14 centimeters if they are tangent externally. Without the 
attempted thing, so. Answer, please, Kathleen. 42 centimeters. I know, 21. Toss up in palaces. The Habsburg palaces are were built in what Austrian city? Vienna. That's correct, in your bonus and chemical reactions. No. When sodium metal comes in contact with chlorine gas, the sodium atom gives an electron to chlorine, resulting in the formation of two charged particles called what? Ions. Mm -hmm. okay. Ions. That is correct. Toss up in European islands. What island, the fifth largest in the Mediterranean, belongs to Greece? Crete. That is correct in your bonus and monuments. Nelson's column in London was built to commemorate the Admiral's death in what battle? Really good. Yeah. 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 Answer, please, Captain. Uh, Sorry? Battle of the Falklands? No, Trafalgar, the Battle of Trafalgar. Toss up in volcanoes. Strato volcanoes, volcanoes built from a combination of lava and ash, are also known as what other kind of volcanoes? Shield volcanoes? No. Yes. Dome volcanoes? No, they're called composite volcanoes. Yeah, uh, toss up in galaxies. What kind of galaxy has a line of stars and interstellar matter slicing across its center? Spiral galaxy? Nope. An irregular galaxy? No, it's called barred spiral. Toss up in wordplay. These lines from different languages illustrate what form of <coughs> wordplay. Japanese are nanamuji, naramago. Hebrew is sara, sera, seer. French, oh my god. Un chassar, sachant chassar, and Dutch is ilk, zag, di, zan, and zaken. Alliteration? No. Time. They are truly tongue twisters. <laughs> Toss up in mold. What is the name for the whole mass of root like structures of bread mold? Sorry? Flagellus. No. Time. Time is mycelium. Toss up in hobbies. What hobby involves casting on, binding off, pearl stitching, looping, and slip stitching? Embroidery? No. Knitting? That is correct. And your bonus in elements. What element? Sorry, what metallic rare earth element was named for the largest asteroid between Mars and Jupiter? Sorry, answer please, Captain. No, it's called cerium. Toss up in anatomy. Buccal, B U C C A L, tissues are located in what body cavity? That's the mouth. Toss up in painting styles. What group of 19th century painters, including Renoir and Monet, tried to create vivid pictures of people and places as they might appear in a brief glance? Realism? No. Uh, they are impressionists. Toss up in fundamental frameworks. Collectively, elements such as communities' roads and sewers may be called civil infrastructure, municipal infrastructure, or public what? Works. Correct. And your bonus in fractures. Emergency care can be given to a victim who has broken what bone by wrapping an elastic bandage starting at the side of the neck, diagonally across the back, over the shoulder, under the arm, and again diagonally across the back, over the shoulder, and under the arm. I think it's the cover. That is correct. Toss up in Jupiter. On an alphabetical <coughs> list of the four Gallian moons, name either of the two that are neither first nor last. Eros. Uh, no. Time. 
that is Europa and Ganymede, toss-up and candidate health. On the occasion of the founding of the Progressive Party, its leader, Theodore Roosevelt, remarked that he felt as strong as bonus, correct, in your bonus in literary terms. But literary term having to do with a plot literally means the unknotting. Resolution. Answer, please, Captain. No, it's called denouement. Toss up in chemical weathering. Hydrolysis is a chemical reaction between a mineral and what substance? Water. That is correct. In your bonus in the Old West, who ran the the show featuring the featuring these attractions? Annie Oakley, Pawnee Bill's Buffalo, Rough Riders, Sitting Bull, and the Deadwood Coach. <coughs> My lane? No, not at all. Are you not paying attention? Are you texting? I was just checking in with my mom. I was telling her that I thought we'd be home by six. It's okay. There's enough time. Just pay attention. I'm not even halfway through my text. There's no way. I'm not even going to look up. My babies are in the car. You have to pay attention. It's just supposed to be a quick text. I'm so sorry. Alrighty, we will begin with a toss-up question in Jumping the Gun. What derogatory name was given to those who entered the unassigned lands of the Oklahoma Territory before President Harrison officially proclaimed them open to settlement? Okies? Nope. Hi. They were the Sooners. Toss-up and Worms. What is the general name for roundworms whose bodies are divided into rings or sections? Segmented worms? That is correct. And your bonus in Florida history. Identify the Seminole leader who re resisted the removal of his people from Florida in the 1830s. <laughs> No, Osceola. Toss up in forms of music. What phrase denotes the three form psychedelic music of the 1960s? I'll give it to you. Disco. No. That was later. Romantic? Uh, no, a acid rock. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I just did a flashback there. Toss up in amendments. With what U.S. constitutional amendment were the wets and the dries associated? 18. Oh, that's right. And your bonus in matter. There are two broad categories of solids. Wax and rubber belong to which of these? <laughs> Answer, please, Captain. Unorganized? No, amorphous. Toss up in Hinduism. According to Hindu legend, what did Shiva acquire between and slightly above his eyebrows that is the seat of intuition and awareness? Third eye. That is correct. And your ball is in plant physiology. Name the zone at the base of the leaf's petiole, P-E-T-I-O-L-E, -E, or at the base of a fruit stalk where a separation layer develops that enables the plant to drop that leaf or the fruit. Answer, please. Uh, no, it's the abscission zone. Toss up in political euphemisms. Complete this euphemism used by politicians in referring to tax increases. Revenue. Gains? No. Increase? 
no enhancement. Toss up in horrifying tales. In what tale by Edgar Allan Poe does a young man stow away on a whaling ship? That'd be the narrative of Arthur Gordon Pym. Toss up in moraine vocabulary. What is a synonym for an end moraine? M O R A I N E. That would be terminal moraine. Toss up in forms of government. What is the term for a league or association of independent countries that have delegated powers to a central government, such as the U.S. prior to its adoption? That is correct. And your bonus in homophonic names. The surname of what female Supreme Court justice sounds the same as the surname of an American poet of the Beat generation? That is correct. Toss up in geology. These are examples of what? Uranite, hermatite, Sphalerite, shelite, and bauxite. Minerals? No. Silicate. No, they're ores. Toss up in astronomy. To whom was the Catholic Church referring in 1615 when he said this? The first proposition that the sun is the center and does not revolve around the earth is foolish, false in theology, and contrary to Holy Scripture. Uh, that is correct. And your bonus in math, number sums. What is the sum of the whole numbers from 1 to 50? Uh, answer, please, Captain. 2,525. No, 1,275. Toss up and getting to the bottom of it. What two categories of rock comprise the basement complex? Sedimentary and igneous. No. Sedimentary and igneous. No. Metamorphic and igneous. <laughs> Toss up in African imperialism. In 1914, every country but one on the west coast. Ethiopia? Uh, no. I'll finish it. On the west coast of Africa, it was claimed as a colony, dominion, or protectorate of some European nation. Name this one country, independent since 1847. Liberia. That is correct. And your bonus in shadows. A non-point source of light casts a shadow that is divided into what two parts? Answer, please, Captain. Umbra and penumbra. That is correct. Nice. <laughs> Toss up in metro areas. What, sorry, which of, Chine, of China's largest cities is situated at the mouth of the Yangtze River? Beijing. No. Shanghai. Sorry? Shanghai. No, it's Shanghai. Uh, Toss up in philanthropists. Among many others, John Jacob Astor supported Edgar Allan Poe and what famous orthonologist known for his paintings? Audubon. Correct. And your bonus in American Monuments. Name the sonnet on a tablet beside the pedestal of the Statue of Liberty. Answer, please, Captain. Immigrants Prime. No, it's called the New Colossus. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh. Toss up in cannibalism. The term cannibal comes from the Spanish word for what aboriginal people of the West Indies known for their practice of consuming human flesh? Mm. It's Carib, C A R I B. T uh, toss up in Tom Swifties. This Tom Swifty begins with what singer's name? Blank is dead, said Tom expressly. The king. No. Elvis Presley. That is correct. Tasa, I mean bonus in advertising. What is the name for these types of songs used in advertising? Double your pleasure, double your fun. Nationwide is on your side. 
clip plop, fizz, fizz, oh, what a relief it is. The best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Yes. And I'm not singing them. Jingles. That's correct. Toss up in chemical laws. While well, chemical law states the two elements, A and B, combine to form more than one compound, then the masses of B that combine with the fixed mass of A are in simple ratio to one another. Uh, no. No, it's called the law of multiple proportions. Toss up in knighthood. The training to become a knight generally took seven years as a page, and another seven years in what other role? Clear. Squire. That's correct. And your bonus in historic monuments. What monument on Breed's Hill in Charlestown, Massachusetts, commemorates the first major conflict between British and American forces in the Revolutionary War? Answer, please. Bunker Hill Monument. Toss up in brokering the peace. In 1905, Theodore Roosevelt invited leaders from what two warring nations to Portsmouth, New, New Hampshire, and successfully brought about an end to the conflict? That would be Japan and Russia. Toss up in Boolean math, in Boolean algebra, what is the sum of x plus x? Nope. No, it's X. I don't know why. <laughs> Toss up in coin problems. It's a math problem as well. In a jar, there is a dollar seventeen in pennies, nickels, and dimes. There are twenty-five coins in all. If there are twice as many nickels as pennies, how many nickels are in the jar? No answer, it's 14. Toss up in homographs. What term indicates. There are lots of unmet needs out here, and while I can't change everything, I can change some things. So I stepped up and became an American Legion Auxiliary Volunteer. For nearly a hundred years, they've been helping our veterans, military, and their families here and abroad. Military deployment can be tough on a family so we do what we can to help. Yeah. And every injured and homeless veteran deserves the compassion we can give them. Well, we are here to help. Plus, we also have programs to teach our youth how to be good citizens and young women how to be leaders at ALA Girls State. America. I wanted to give back like the other 800,000 American Legion Auxiliary Volunteers. There's history here. Patriotism, pride, open arms. It doesn't take much time to make a difference. Will you join me and please step up to help our country's heroes and their families? Call the number to volunteer today. We will start with a toss-up question in Thrace. Aside from the Mediterranean, name either of the two largest seas adjacent to Thrace. The Adriatic? Uh, no, sorry. No, it is the Aegean and the Black Sea. Toss up in empire buildings. The fall of what empire began when the Macedonian army under Alexander the Great won the, won, sorry, won the Battle of Arbela, A-R-B-E-L-A, -E in 331 B.C.? The Persian Empire? That is correct, and your bonus and titles. The official title, po Poet Laureate, came from the tradition of crowning a poet with the wreath of what? Answer, please. That is correct. Toss up in heroines. Name the willful, defiant, manipulative Southern Belle created by Margaret Mitchell. Scarlet O'Harla. Toss up in ornamentation. Name the round or oval metal pieces that are often embossed with Western designs and used in hat bands and belts. Yes. No. Okay. 
are called conchos, toss up in invasions. Who led the last successful invasion of Britain? Charles I. No? Western. Time, that's William the Conqueror, or William of Normandy. Toss up in Longfellow. What unusual word completes this and every verse of a Longfellow poem? A traveler by the faithful hound, half buried in the snow, was found, still grasping in his hand of ice that banner with a strange device. <coughs> Excelsior. Toss up in prefixes. What is the meaning of the prefix in these word, uh, words? Syncopation, synchron synchronicus, uh, and synthetic. Artificial? Uh, no. No, it's together or with. Toss up in ocean zones. The region of the ocean through which light penetrates and where photosynthetic marine organisms live is called what zone? Photic zone. Correct. And your bonus in legendary conflicts. In Mallory's Le Morte de Arthur, the, the protagonist, King Arthur, struggles with what evil antagonist? Answer, please, Captain. Morgan Le Fay. No, Mordred. Toss up in Soviets. The leading Soviet nuclear physicist who played a central role in developing the USSR's hydrogen bomb was, for a long time, confined to the closed city of Gorky because of his efforts to bring democracy to the Soviet Union. He was Andrei who? No. <laughs> Sakharov. Toss up in colonial quotes. He said that liberty is the proper end and object of authority. Name this Puritan who wrote A History of New England from 1630 to 1649 and who was elected governor of the Massachusetts colony for 12 terms. That would be John Winthrop. Toss up in biomes. What type of biome exists throughout practically all of central Australia? Desert. Correct. And your bonus in real estate contracts. You buy a house and formally agree to abide by some special stipulations of the developer, such as no temporary outbuilding and no horses. What is the need for such what is the need the name for such stipulations within a contract or deed? Answer, please, Captain. Neither. They're called covenants. Toss up in international organizations. What nation is last on an alphabetical list of countries that are members of the OAS? Zimbabwe? No. Libya? No, Venezuela. Uh, toss up in math, other bases. On a base, as a base six numeral, what is the sum of the base six numbers 52 or 5, 2, and 4, 5? 5, 2, and 4, 5. Uh, the correct answer is 141. Toss up in American bases. What branch of the American military has bases at Camp Pendleton, California, Paris Island, South Carolina, and Quantico, Virginia? Navy. No. Air Force. No, the Marine Corps. Toss up in genetics. What is the phrase for the condition when neither A-L-L-E-L-E, -E -L -L -E -L -E, controlling a characteristic, is dominant? Decisive. No, I'll finish it is dominant and the aspect displayed by the organism results from the partial influ influence of both LLEs, whatever that is. Oh. A shared trait? No, it's called incomplete dominance. Toss up in the Crusades. During the Crusades, the Knights of St. John were charged with caring for the sick and wounded. 
What other knightly order was established to protect pilgrims? The Teutonic Order? No. St. Peter? No, the Knights Templar. Uh, toss up in drugs. Anti-hypnotic drugs prevent or inhibit what? Hypnosis. No. No, sleep. Uh, toss up in math, reference angles. What is the reference angle of 150 degrees, 20 minutes? Yes. 29 degrees, 240 seconds, minutes? No. <laughs> 29 degrees, 40 minutes. Yeah. Toss up in poetic meter. Iambic pentameter is a line of poetry made up of five what? Science. Correct. And your bonus in binary fission. When the euglena is about to reproduce, its nucleus divides through what process? Answer, please, Captain. Nuclear fission. It's called mitosis. <laughs> Toss up in math, money math. You have $18.50 worth of dimes and quarters in your piggy bank. If it has 98 coins, how many of them are quarters? I'll give it to you. Eighty-three. No. Nope. No. Yes. 15. No, it's 58. Toss up in math. Proportions. Solve this proportion for x. A is to B as C is to x. Yes. X equals C, B over A. Correct. Uh, and your bonus in math. Repeating decimals. 0.272727 is a rational number because it can be expressed as what fraction? Answer, please, Captain. No, oh, three elevenths. Toss up in lighting. What type of lighting uses materials that absorb the energy from ultraviolet light and emit the energy as visible light? That would be fluorescent lighting. Toss up in prime ministers. During uh, Benjamin Disraeli's second term as prime minister, Britain gained control of the Suez Canal and who became Empress of India? Queen Victoria. Correct. And your bonus in legendary adjectives. What adjective indicates any piece of literature relating to the son of Uther Pendragon? Arthuric? Yeah. It's spelled Arthuric. Okay. Arthuric. Say it again. Arthuric? Uh, sorry, Arthurian. Right guy.